Have you ever wanted your own car that's like those you see in movies but have no income or earn extremely low? Now you don't have to worry because today you can make your own all recycled Nestle car. All you need is a lightweight box. In our case, we use a Nestle box. Four corks, a balloon, a straw that fits the whole of your balloon, rubber band, white glue, two more straws as axles, tape, scissors, and toothpicks which will all depend on your box size. Not fully convinced yet? Well, through Newton's laws of motion, we will ensure you this is the safe and best choice to go. First law is the law of inertia, and it states that when an object is, is static, it will remain static until a non net zero force acts upon it. So, so the recycle car was at rest until a force, which is the balloon air pressure, acts upon it, causing it to move forward. As the balloon begins to shrink, the car stops moving and won't move again until another force acts upon it, which is the balloon air pressure. An object's acceleration depends on its mass and the net force acting upon it. Acceleration of the car depends on the mass of the vehicle. So if the vehicle has recycled equipment that's too heavy, then the car's distance after the balloon is blown will be shorter and vice versa. If the car is lighter, it will move faster. If one object exerts a force on another object, then the second object exerts a force of equal strength in the opposite direction of the first object. When the balloon is blown, the balloon's air pressure goes against the air outside of the balloon causing it to move. Since the vehicle is connected to the balloon, it goes with the force of the balloon. The balloon is staying on the car because the car, the car is exerting the same force on the vehicle as a vehicle does to the balloon.